Well, that man was dragged to his death when his arm got caught in the doors of a red line train. The incident sparked new safety oversight from the feds, and now we have a better idea of what happened. All of this unfolded last April at the Broadway station in Boston. Federal investigators now say a door on a red line train likely short circuited, allowing that train to accelerate, even though 39 year old Robinson Leyland's arm was trapped inside. Leyland was dragged along the platform to his death. The NTSB also found that the cameras that would have shown the operator what was happening on the platform had a blind spot. But they said that operator would have been able to see that Leyland was caught by following procedures and looking out the cab window. Leyland's family filed a wrongful death suit and tonight they tell us they just want to spare other families. Every day we get up now and we know somebody's missing and we know that that smile, that person that was always happy being there for everybody, helping everybody is not there anymore. And it's really tragic. As the investigation goes on, we're finding out more things and more stuff. And we really are paying attention to everything that's going on right now. The Red Line fleet was tested following the incident and no other cars were found to have that defect. Today, the MBTA said it is reviewing the NTSB's final report, adding that since the incident, it has added additional layers of testing on all vehicles, performed system-wide audits, and phased out aging equipment. Reporting in the newsroom, Brittany Johnson, 5 Investigates.